So our last case study here, uh, I find this one's very interesting. And you notice the machine markings. Uh, this is a Transformix machine under the CNC assembly brand. Uh, so not only does this machine tick a lot of the boxes that Peng was speaking about earlier, uh, which I'll, I'll expand on in a moment, um, but uh, it, it really shows that, um, well, while this is a new technology for ATS, uh, it's been in development for over 10 years with the Transformix team. And, and those key individuals that developed the Transformix CNC assembly system are now part of uh, part of ATS, uh, Peng and the engineers she spoke of earlier. Uh, they're part of the ATS team that's working on pushing Symphony to the next level of uh, modularity, redeployability, uh, and flexibility. So I'll start this video here and you can see the uh, the assembly process. So this is a connector assembly that uh, had quite a few uh, different variants and was actually manufactured on several different machines uh, at, a, at a much lower rate. So several machines at a much lower rate were consolidated to one machine at, of course, this, this very high rate. Um, now moving to this chassis permitted the customer to um, consolidate to one machine, obviously, uh, less tooling, far less personnel, and takes up a lot less floor space, which is what prevented them from needing to expand their facilities. All right, just some, uh, some quick facts about this system excuse me, 250 parts per minute. Uh, it was nine machines that were previously manufacturing these and over 20 variants. Um, five pieces were in this assembly process, which included some uh, driving of screws, 90% uh, labor savings, 80% reduction in floor space, uh, absolute increase in asset utilization. If you have 20 variants of a, uh, of a product that you're making over nine machines, those nine machines are often not running at the same time. This uh, was really fully utilized, this, uh, this piece of assembly automation.